Hello everyone and welcome back to another Fallout video and today I am still trying to make my way to right here to try to get to the next uh, level but I'm having a tough time getting past all these traps that are certainly frustrating to say the least because I can't see them and they seem to be everywhere. But let me move here. Okay, I can take four steps that way, two steps that way. And then, if I avoid the traps, I will get shot and killed. Not even the carrion eaters are interested in your radiated corpse. Like, I don't mean to be such a Debbie Downer, or so pessimistic, but it's basically a pick your poison. It's like, hey, either the traps will kill me as soon as I move, and I won't even complete my turn, or if the traps don't kill me, and I am able to complete my turn, the super mutant will shoot and kill me. So I'm just put in a real predicament. Of, well, not what do I do, like... Uh... Yep, you see, I couldn't see that trap. The darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits you now. May you find more peace in that world than you found in this one. I will certainly find more peace in the afterlife in this universe than... I will just walking around not seeing traps and all that freaking horse crap. Alright, take a three foot step that way. Or maybe it's not a three foot, but a three space step. Not even the carrion eaters are interested in your radiated corpse. No, I survived? And I'm dead. The darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits you now. May you find more peace in that world than you found in this one. <sighs> this is... Welcome to my pain, in case you haven't watched any other any of the other Fallout videos. Welcome to my pain and torment. Alright, now. Uh... Even if my character says that it, he senses a trap nearby, it doesn't really help when the super mutant, the huge mutant, is able to kill me, just boom, like it's nothing. The darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits you now. May you find more peace in that world than you found in this one. <sighs> Torture. Oh my god. The darkness. The the huge mutant will not miss anymore. 
I have gotten to a point where that huge mutant just will not miss anymore, and I can't make any more progress from here. Like, I've tried over the course of a few videos, and that huge mutant will not miss. Uh, maybe if that uh, huge mutant missed every once in a while, it would make me feel better in the fact that if I avoid the traps, maybe I could make some progress? Oh. Your bones are scraped clean by the desolate wind. Your vault will now surely die, as you have. I just... Oh my god, it doesn't matter if the huge mutant would miss or not, I would probably die on the trap bef after I forgot to save because I would be celebrating the fact that the huge mutant would have missed me. And I would be right back to square one. But if the huge mutant has 100% chance to hit me when I'm that far away, that is absolute bullcrap, and I cannot underestimate that! I just cannot woefully underestimate that. And I'm not overestimating it either, I'm not... I'm not overplaying it. I would be downplaying it, if anything. <laughs> yep, yep, I knew I was gonna die from a freaking trap. It's like, oh, well then why did you try it? Because I can't see the trap. I just had a feeling that I was gonna die from a freaking trap. I just can't see them, because... I don't know why. I guess my character needs the glasses that I'm- that I wear in order to see said traps or some special innate ability that I just do not have. I don't know, but it's frustrating. And I'm only like, what, 7.45 in? Jesus. The huge mutant does not miss me. Why does it not miss me anymore? That that is just unheard of. That mm. it would give me more hope if the huge mutant missed me at least one time, one more time, when I'm avoiding these traps. That would be nice to give me some optimism. Just some. Optimism, but no, it is ripped from me. I'm just stuck here yelling into a microphone, playing a 23 year old game that I don't know if I can beat or not. That's that's just a culmination of everything. Your life ends in the wasteland. This, in a way, is worse than the one game that I've played on this channel before that has made me the most angry. And that was Ink. Ink made me so incredibly angry at times. But the difference between Ink and this game is that over the course is that I knew that I would potentially get stuck on a part, but that after three videos or four videos max, I knew I could get past that part, and that I knew that there was an eventual light at the end of the tunnel, and that it would get closer and closer to me as I would progress through the game. But with this game, I don't even know where the light is at the end of the tunnel. I don't know! 
I don't know if it's right through that door, and I get a lot closer to the end of the game, or if it's a lot farther away than I think. I really do not know. So in more ways, this game is more frustrating than Ink, and Ink made me so mad, and I am not prone to anger. I'm not as prone to anger uh, back then as I am now. I get that that was only a year ago, but eventually you just age to the point where you can let stuff go easier and it doesn't bother you and I've gotten to that point I'm I'm getting more toward that point so I can tolerate more uh, bullcrap like this but eventually I have a breaking point and right now this is just about at the breaking point it is just so frustrating it is so incredibly frustrating and gosh darn it, I am sick of it! <sighs> Alright. Like, I, I, I try not to care about this part, but... Like... I, I try to be numb to it so that I'm not always angry at this part so that I can just feel nothing the darkness of the afterlife is because if I just feel numb about something I don't feel anger I don't feel happiness I don't feel contempt I don't feel anything which which is what I try to do with this part but Gosh darn it, it is just so freaking hard. Oh my god. And yes, I have gotten more angry on camera before, but put that in all your rage compilations of me. Please, do it. I would love to see a compilation of me getting mad. <laughs> In my videos, that would be funny. Oh god, I can move one more square. Uh, I think there's a trap right here. If not, the super, the big mutant's gonna kill me, so it's, it's basically like... Oh my god! Oh my god! It's the best thing ever! <laughs> it's a miracle! Oh my god! Mm. But there's probably trap after trap in front of me though. That's the thing. Not even the carrion eaters are interested in- But that has at least rejuvenated me a little bit. Because, like I said, if the big if the big mutant could miss at least one time, it would make me feel a little bit better. And getting all that anger out of my system made me feel better as is. So I don't want to say I'm optimistic about this because I'm I've probably put myself in a corner that I can't get away from, which uh, would make me a little bit more agitated than I already was. down here can I do this oh my god that's a unique no track that I've never seen before okay so basically I've got to remember to back out here go right here I think that almost missed me too Alright, well, I'm not gonna comment, uh, progress, or title of this video progress or anything. I'm just gonna call it rage. Because, in the end, I had a lot more rage than progress, and I would put quotations around progress 
I did not make any progress uh, at all. And that's not necessarily pessimism speaking to. I... <sighs> It's the first progress I've made in a while, so no, I'm not calling it progress. But I'm going to call this rage. And see us, guys! I do believe that that will do it for this Fallout video. And thanks to Fallout video, where I might rage again. I will see you all later. Goodbye, guys! Thank you all for watching. Yeah.